it's the evening of the 4th September, day when I got fired even before I started to work. And uh, that was in the previous video, but I'm just gonna repeat it uh, for the sake of the documentation. So, Mr. Olivari from Olivari Company gave me a job for a one month to be his tour guide between end of this month and end of the next month, September, October. 1000 euro job and uh, as a part of the training I actually didn't need to do because I was doing that same job even for him before as a tour guide three years I was sent for a training to uh, uh, to wait for a, a German group and to see that uh, welcoming ceremony presentation and um, in short the group was not um, the the bus driver was not responding to the tour guide Darko, I was not a tour guide, I was just trainee, trainee, and uh, because he was not responding and he came, the group came at midnight in Opatia, which is uh, that city across the bay where I was making that um, job uh, update on the September 1st, I simply took off at 8 p.m., I was frozen, it started to rain, and uh, then he later told me that he doesn't need me because I'm not reliable and because I was not waiting for that group, which is um, total bollocks I was. Uh, German, tour, German bus driver simply didn't bother to answer uh, tour guide's phone calls and to say when he is coming. And then the guy needed really to improvise at midnight to brief the guests and to prepare them for the uh, tour next day, which I was attending. And uh, although I didn't need it because it was happening in Opatia where I was already doing, working as a tour guide and going to school five years, so I know it is my neighborhood. Uh, so that's the thing about being a tour guide. I mean, a <laughs> targeted individual. When you are TI, you get uh, fired over things. Normal people like the bus driver don't even get a, a slip on the wrist. And the same thing was happening to me before, many, many times before being fired over talking about GMO food in a school or about uh, also fired from the same school when uh, when rumor came that I smoke marijuana but they hired me again <laughs> even me not asking for it but my manager which really needed me and the um, director fired me not the English manager which liked me and uh, and so on so uh, that much about it uh, in my case, I noticed that I need very, very little to get fired. Sometimes nothing, sometimes uh, stuff like that. Oh, you didn't, uh, you, you went home. Yeah, I did. I was not needed anyway. <laughs> so I went home and I uh, took that much liberty. Boom, you're out. Okay. So uh, the thing I was talking about my, uh, about the topic, uh, exiting the closet about the, you know, being a tour guide and, uh, was it the wise thing to do? I was talking about that topic with my mother today and uh, so what's the conclusion? Conclusion is very simple. I was a TI even before I admitted that I'm a TI. I was TI before even before I figured it out that I'm a TI. Uh, I started to notice something weird happening in 2007 and then I figured it out that I'm TI in 2014 when things added up, Morgan Lung's disease, microwaves, weird accidents on a, on a job, smeared. And then when I started to notice Illuminati around me, thanks to the activation of the third eye, then I figured it out that bullshit was actually coming from them. Those um, insane complaints over, you know, <laughs> over really bullshit, total bullshit. Uh, different jobs and so on, especially being tour guide, which is a very sensitive job. You, you know, you work with lots of sensitive egos and uh, so on. So, my my conclusion is it's uh, better to get out of the closet for, for two reasons. And I know already what is minus. I'm going to jump to the minus. Minus is people can uh, point to this channel and say, he's crazy right because he's talking about weird stuff dude so uh, that's okay that's legit all the as I said before the whole thing was happening even uh, when I didn't have the channel so this this is the this is the thing 
uh, there are two good things why it's good to have it to, to be out on the open uh, thing number one is uh, <laughs> thing number one is I feel much better because when I was targeted individual and only people who knew that I was targeted individual were the pubs, the Illuminati born in and their scum, their gangs uh, associated and me that was really really heavy burden I remember oh, kids uh, screaming I remember uh, the the heaviest uh, part for me was in Samut Prakan when that was happening, uh, heavy targeting there, uh, cars pointing lights into my house, uh, engine uh, booming, uh, people throwing down, uh, Pai Kaoi, Ajahn Meo, and so on, in, that, in Bangkok 2014. Uh, so this was this was for me the most difficult part because I felt like. I'm in prison and uh, that I, I have no uh, escape and this is the this is the situation they've been uh, creating and oddly uh, the again Luciferian company Google slash YouTube gave me possibility to speak up and uh, and get out of that uh, mental prison I was at, I was at and second thing is what this uh, YouTube gave me was a possibility to connect with others I even managed to have very generous mecena for a while, a Goldman, uh, and he unfortunately died this uh, March in the car accident. When he sent me four thousand uh, dollars as a as a help, <laughs> this was like uh, uh, bells of the heaven singing and opening for me, and it was uh, such a pleasurable moment for me I, I, I cannot describe you how happy I was so yeah uh, speaking about it gave me gave me simply financial resources as well and uh, and release and it's also gave me ability just to play a little bit with uh, with uh, YouTube with the editing and uh, with this creative part and I also love that as well as a just a way of expressing myself so I cannot tell you what to do but another thing is um, as well it gave me ability to educate people so it's a two-edged sword on one hand of course the uh, uneducated minds and especially main minds can take this as a who's a weirdo but you know for those people everything is weird if you don't drink beer and if you don't watch football you're already weird and um, so really who gives a shit what they think well we have to take a shit because they are colleagues and employers but we don't have to take the, their stupid opinions to our hearts let them evil stupidity uh, harm our skin but not our hearts see that's my point and uh, second thing is um, which is the plus uh, bog <laughs> it gave us possibility to educate them i know uh, for a fact that people who uh, started uh, to watch this because they know me uh, and then they started to uh, grasp a little bit more the concept of what's going on and see connection and so on and they they got educated although it's the fact that uh, people who are not targeted individuals they simply do not have a concept of uh, what means uh, being a targeted individual it's simply they absolutely cannot know it unless unless they are very very intuitive and uh, very uh, smart hey guys uh, this is the second day same topic and i just gonna conclude the whole thing so first things first is a ti it's very we are very vulnerable of course it's very easy uh, to get smeared and there is this thing i really want to add you know the matrix the artificial intelligence with psychic attacks and the buzz really creates this kind of climate that it's very very easy to fire you 
it's very easy to see in a negative sense, like this example with Olivari, where I got fired over what I exactly explained, over absolutely nothing. And uh, you know from your experience uh, that other people are just getting away with much bigger things. So this is something what we cannot influence, but we can influence our own thoughts, our own feelings. So it's very, very, very important not to allow yourself to be gang stalked into believing that something is wrong with you and that uh, you are uh, in effect um, Mogu pomoć? I should you know this guy is really staring at me. But he's coming. You see? You see the guy staring. See the guy? Okay, now now we can move the fucking head. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. So, yeah, speaking about devil, uh, situations like that. So, thing is, what we can choose, we can choose our own reactions, like showing of balls and little things like this, or not allowing, ever, ever allow yourself the inner voice, you know, coming from outside to tell you that you're inadequate and that you're bad, because I was going through that shit. I clearly remember when I had one really, uh, I mean, I, I cried. I, I just gonna open myself and I'm just gonna tell you one situation, what happened to me when I, when I simply buzzed into theaters on a bus station. And now this never gonna happen to me. So it was uh, 2010. I was waiting whole, uh, some whole year to, uh, to start working as a tour guide, to start, you know, filling some money in my, in my hands. And just to give you an idea, German agency is paying for a Croatian tour guide 250 euros per day and the Croatian agency uh, was paying me uh, Aurea from Kirk uh, 60 euros, okay? So not only that I'm carrying his bus, that all vouchers, all bullshit is on me, but he's also literally making money out of me. Do your math, okay? Four times. And uh, so... I just need to tell you this detail, stay with me, because it's very important to understand the picture. So I was going, I was driving, uh, I was on a bus from that island there, Krk, taking a ferry to that island there, Tres, and going back. And because many buses were going uh, to town Tres and Veli Loshin, we organized that my bus goes first to Veli Loshin, then Tres. And what happened is that uh, Swiss the Swiss German uh, bus driver simply took a bus to Tres and I tried to stop him but he already ended up in a narrow street and when I said, dude, we have to go to Veloshin, he said, shy the girl, same shit, I said, yeah, okay, I'm easy going guy, you know, I don't want to confront because they're always right, you know, the money people, the Germans, they're always right, you understand me? And um, so we done first Tres, then Veloshin, the group was actually very good, I had very good rapport with them, when we came to the to the um, uh, okay, here we go again. Yeah, here we go again. So when we came to the yeah, hi, sure, it's a Swedish. Bi me jebao, huh? Huh? Bi me jebao. Bi mi kurac pušio. Jel bi malo, huh? Šta je? Si derpe. <laughs> Stari derpe, a? Tako, glavicu dole. So, when bus, uh, so, when bus came to uh, hotel, it was um, in Njivice, the... Um, everything was cool, I went to the bus station, I was actually very happy because I had very nice report with the group. And then Mariko called me, he said they don't want you anymore. I said, what? He said, two couples, uh, four people complained that you first went to Tres and then Loshin, but it was, uh, it was supposed to be opposite. And I said, what? Is that the reason? He said, yeah, I know it's weird, I just want to check it out. And I, but you're losing this group. And for me, it was like uh, losing uh, 240 euros plus 300 euros, and I had like a nothing, you know, I had to borrow, uh, I mean borrow, get money from my mother, 100 kuna, 15 euros a day to get, to, for the, you know, get the bus ticket. And, um, and I really bust into tears and I came home honestly all in tears because like what the fuck you know I mean and he gave me another group and another, you know, with another group all was perfect but I was super super stressed and uh, of course now I know the background and if you're TI you know these things if you're not TI you don't 
And then they added another thing, they had a problem with the weather, because it was not with them prospect, they've been complaining about that, and of course, the last thing what they invented, and this is what they added uh, next time, when another colleague told me, oh, you know, Sein Deutsch is not so good, which is always, they can always fuck you up with that, you know, if you're not ethnic German, or you, if you didn't grow up in Germany, they can always uh, point to your German, like, I'm a tour guide in Croatia, I'm ethnic Croat. You know, what the fuck? What do you expect? And um, but this is always nice uh, chip for smearing. So this is just to give you just to give you example, and this is like one of many examples that is happening to me in this line of job and many other uh, different jobs. And um, so first, don't get it to your heart. The second thing is uh, there is one minus with this, and I'm just gonna recapitulate with this channel. And there are two pluses. One minus is. Um, uh, it, can, it can be pointed and it can be used against me of course and as I said, there are two pluses first plus is I feel so much better I feel like I'm floating in the sea and I'm I'm uh, my lungs are you know breathing uh, wide open and I'm feeling so relaxed because whenever I go to swim I feel relaxed I feel so much better with myself and second thing I feel comfortable is um, I managed to communicate with other people. And third thing, which is gonna work on the long run, uh, you understand me, this is the education. We really need to educate these masses about what's going on, that there is a system which is really controlling people and controlling human minds and things are getting tougher and tougher. And um, I really feel that I really need to tell you this, but this gonna be up, next update gonna be about the levels of control on a human mind. Uh, people are really telepathically controlled incredibly and I figured out there are seven different uh, levels of, um, of control but I just want to talk about that in a second next update whenever it comes well thank you for hanging out and uh, you know, I know that there are many people out there who like me and there are of course shitloads of trolls but that's why blocking and cleaning their comments is for and I am uh, really happy that I managed to uh, get to you guys. And although you're a small crowd, I really like you, you know. Thank you for being there. Thank you for watching me. And um, kudos.